time. The most precious treasure in the universe. Our mission? To explore it. To travel through history, unraveling its mysteries, unlocking its secrets, unleashing its energy. Knowledge is power. Well, it's a great big world. And it's been around a long, long time. AJ's time travelers, traveling through history, unlocking its secrets. Marie is the key. AJ's time travelers, question of travelers. Knowledge is power. AJ's time travelers. Commander on the bridge. Would somebody please tell me where I am? Right here, of course. Who said that? Just little old me. Welcome aboard, Commander. Our home base is Uncharted Asteroids. Designation 7 Echo 1, late 20th century. You gotta be kidding. Perhaps I can explain. Commander Malloy, who are you? Call me Ali. Ha! I'll be your... Right hand man, which is ironic because I'm actually left handed. And now, I'd like you to meet our pilot, Maria. Welcome aboard, Commander. And our fully synthesoidal navigator, Bit. Coming through. Coming through. Move it or lose it. I gotta whip this ship into ship shape because some new Yahoo's coming on board as commander. Oh. Izzy? I'd like you to meet someone. Your new commander, A.J. Malloy. Why, Commander Malloy, you're, you're even handsomer than I was led to believe. And may I say, sir, that when I said Yahoo, uh, what I meant to say was Yahoo. <laughs> Oh. You're here. Izzy is our chief mechanic. He has the eye of an eagle, the heart of a lion. Mm, and the smell of a circus train. Gentlemen, our time window is rapidly diminishing. I suggest we proceed with our mission. What mission? Nothing tough. We're simply going to gather every bit of information in... The universe! We figure if we go at top speed, it shouldn't take much longer than... Forever. forever. Gather all the knowledge in the universe? That's impossible! Impossible? Excuse us. You're having a conversation with a dog on a time machine, and you think something can be impossible? <laughs> I tell you what's impossible! Defeating me! Warp the Invincible! Your new commander looks a little confused. <laughs> I, I, I wouldn't say uh, confused so much as uh, befuddled, perhaps even a little bewildered. Silence! It is time for me to seize the Kairos. He can't do that, can he? Yes, but only if he knows something we don't. If you cannot survive my interrogation, I get the Kairos, and you're all banished to infinity. Lost forever in time. <laughs> You mean, I'll never get to go home again? Bingo, bright boy! Let's start the game. I defy you to learn about a time in history when human beings did what seemed to be impossible. Do that, and you can keep your precious ship for now. <laughs> Is he always that cranky? Actually, he seemed kind of up today. Impossible. Impossible. What is something people did that other people thought was impossible? Well, it was once thought impossible for people to fly, to go to the moon, to harness the atom, to transplant organs. I got it. The pyramid. May I have the disc? I was told to guard it with my life. The disc is very important. It's the only way to save the knowledge from our mission. Set the coordinates. Destination locked in. Egypt, 2620 BC. I hope there's a movie on this flight. Let's make time tracks. Time Tower, this is...
is the Kairos requesting clearance for departure. Roger that. Well, I see that our new commander has arrived. AJ, meet Pulse. He's our time traffic controller. Well, happy time trails to you, partner. Now, you must remember the rules of time travel. You may go back in time only as observers. You are forbidden from changing, altering, spindling, varying, or otherwise mutilating the course of history. Do you understand? I understand. Good! You are now cleared for Egypt, 3rd century BC. Taxi to pass, re-entry platform 5010. Oh, and don't forget to hang a Louie at the giant neon mummy! Let's blast into the past! Planet Earth, the northeast section of the continent Africa, lies Egypt, home of one of humankind's first great civilizations. From ancient Egypt, we get our basic forms of arithmetic, our 365-day calendar, and from the stem of the papyrus plant, the first paper. On this paper, they wrote words with pictures called hieroglyphs. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to downtown ancient Egypt. Please remain seated until we have come to a complete stop at the time terminal. We hope you've enjoyed your time trip. We really went back in time? This is really ancient Egypt? That's right. We've traveled back more than 4,000 years. And we got the frequent flyer miles to prove it. Now, how do we find out how they built the pyramids? We go to the Knowledge Bay, of course. Time out! This is too cool! The Knowledge Bay is equipped with some very advanced features. Over there is the time and space lock. Yes, that allows us to extract visitors from any place in time and space on board the Kairos. Where'd that come from? Let's get started. First, we gotta find out how they came up with the idea for the pyramids. I'll field this one. I believe Dick Clark was sitting in the studio commissary when it came to him. You get two rotating celebrities and two regular people to buy for cash and prizes. Not the $20,000 pyramid! The ancient Egyptian pyramids. My school book says they built those things without bulldozers, cranes, and trucks. I want to know how they did that. It seems impossible. <laughs> Highly unlikely. <sighs> But they did it. And because we're back when they did it, we can find out how they did it from the guy who did it. It's time to meet and greet one of Egypt's top architects. He's peerless when it comes to pyramids. He'd swim a million miles for one of your smiles. I give you the one, the only designer of the first structure built of stone, the Step Pyramid, Bill Welcome to Kairos. I'm Commander Malloy. You're here because we want to know all about the pyramids. Ah, a young man with an interest in design. I love what you've done to this place. Suggestion, go with vertical stripes. It'll make the room look ten pounds thinner. Actually, Mr. Imhotep. No, 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 no. Just Imhotep. Like Cher or Prince. You mean the artist formerly known as Prince. We want to know how the pyramids are built. It seems impossible. Nothing is impossible when you have vision. Style! Ugh. And two million low-paid laborers. You see, before I came along, people mostly built things out of wood or mud. I figured you could cut great big blocks of stone like this, stack them on top of each other, and make something very trendy, very now. Although, of course, by now, I mean then. <laughs> but you know, some pyramids are taller than the Statue of Liberty, and those blocks weigh tons! <laughs> yeah, I mean, how did you get them up so high? You didn't have trucks, you didn't have cranes, you didn't have power tools to cut the rocks. A picture is worth a thousand hieroglyphs. 
Pyramids are made primarily of blocks of limestone, which are mined from quarries. Highly skilled workers cut the blocks with hammers, chisels and wooden wedges. The blocks, some of which weigh 30,000 pounds, are loaded onto wooden sleds and pushed and dragged over paths paved with logs. Water or mud is poured on the path to make it easier to slide the sled. Who does all the pushing and pulling? <laughs> well, just a guess, but I'm thinking they make their dogs do it. They make us do everything. We would never do a thing like that. We treated our dogs like kings. Here, king. Sit, king. Stay, king. I know who does all the work. You use slaves, right? Wrong, wrong, wrong. That slave thing is a nasty, nasty rumor. We use farm laborers. Every year the Nile River floods and its waters cover all the farmland. The farmers could sit at home, but cable won't be invented for another 5,000 years. So, they go to work on the pyramids. They get a little sun, a little exercise, a little aerobic thing happening. Maybe dodge a two-ton falling stone. Any way you look at it, they've got themselves a day. Here is where I put the entire look together. Accessorizing is the key. My secret? Ramps. Of course, ramps! That's the secret! That's the missing piece of the puzzle! Yes! A ramp is an inclined plane! Man's oldest machine! Ha! That's the only way you could have done it! Ramps, I love them! No one is strong enough to lift up one of these blocks my pyramid is made of. But get a couple of guys, you spring for some falafel, some baba ganoush. They can drag a block up a ramp like this. When they get to the top, they use levers to put the block in place. After 20 years, millions of work hours, more than two and a half million precisely fitted blocks, the ramps come off. Et voila! A shining, spanking new pyramid. A work of art! No, 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 no! A work of Imhotep! Well, I must run. I understand the Red Sea is going to part today, but it's festival seating. Bye, Imhotep! And thanks. Oh. You know, call me crazy, but I see this whole room as deco now. Think about it. You have my fax number. I know you do. Okay, now I understand how the pyramids were built, but I still don't understand why they were built. Egyptians believe their king, or pharaoh, was the son of Re. Not that Re. Re, the sun god. Now you don't bury a pharaoh in some hole in the ground. He needs a gigantic tomb to show that even in death, he can live like a king. So the pharaohs were buried underneath the pyramid. Like a bone? Not underneath it. Inside it. Secret passages inside the pyramid lead to the burial chamber. The chamber contains not only pharaoh's body, but also food and drink, along with magnificent jewelry, furniture, weapons, and clothes to be used in the afterlife. That's a lot of loot. Uh, did the tombs have guard dogs? Afraid not. By the year 1000 BC, every single pharaoh's tomb had been robbed of all its treasures. Every tomb except one. In 1922 AD, Howard Carter, an English archaeologist, discovered the tomb of Tutankhamun, King Tut for short. The tomb had remained untouched for more than 3,000 years. All of these treasures are now kept in Egypt's Cairo Museum, where we can study them and learn about life in Tut's time. This is great. I learned a lot about the pyramids. What's a pyramid? The entire history of ancient Egypt is based right here on this magic stuff. Take care of it, AJ. Knowledge is power. Thanks, guys. Bit, let's head for home. Ah, not so fast. You have not been dismissed. Let's see how much knowledge you've amassed. It's test time. If you cannot answer my questions, I get the Kairos, and you get lost forever in time. <laughs>